Welcome, and uh, join us as we take a closer look at this day in history, November 1st. You might be surprised at the sheer variety of events that have unfolded on this date. From daring explorations to political upheavals, from theatrical premieres to groundbreaking scientific advancements, it's a day that truly reflects the uh, complexities and contradictions of the human experience. What's fascinating is how a single date can encompass such a wide spectrum of human endeavors. It really highlights how history is not just a linear progression, but a tapestry woven from countless threads, all intertwined and influencing each other in ways we might not even realize. Exactly. So to kick things off, let's rewind the clock all the way back to the 16th century, a time of exploration and discovery when the world was still largely uncharted territory for Europeans. On November 1st, 1520, Ferdinand Magellan, the Portuguese explorer leading a Spanish expedition, became the first European to navigate the treacherous Strait of Magellan. This narrow passage at the southern tip of South America connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, opening up a new route for global trade and exploration. This wasn't just about finding a shortcut. Magellan's voyage had a profound impact on global trade-shifting power dynamics between nations and ultimately paving the way for European colonialism in the Americas and beyond. It's incredible how one voyage could have such far-reaching consequences. And speaking of influential events, let's fast forward a couple of centuries to the world of theater. Ah, yes. Shakespeare. It seems November 1st has a special connection to the bard himself. Indeed. On November 1st, 1604, the tragedy Othello premiered at Whitehall Palace in London. This play, known for its intense themes of jealousy, betrayal, and manipulation, was an instant success, captivating audiences with its complex characters and dramatic plot. It's amazing to think that people were experiencing this masterpiece for the very first time on this date centuries ago. I wonder what their reactions were like seeing those iconic characters come to life on stage. And then, just seven years later, on that very same date, another Shakespearean masterpiece took center stage. On November 1st, 1611, The Tempest. A play filled with magic, romance, and themes of forgiveness and redemption also premiered at Whitehall Palace. It's remarkable that two of Shakespeare's most enduring works premiered on the same date, in different centuries. Talk about a coincidence. It really makes you wonder if Shakespeare had a particular fondness for November 1st. But let's shift gears now from the world of theater to the realm of politics, where tensions were brewing in the American colonies. On November 1st, 1765, the Stamp Act, imposed by the British Parliament on the American colonies, took effect. This act required colonists to pay a tax on all sorts of printed materials, from newspapers and legal documents to playing cards. This seemingly simple tax ignited a firestorm of protest across the colonies. The colonists saw it as a violation of their rights, a form of tyranny without representation. The cry of no taxation without representation became a rallying point fueling the growing movement for independence. The Stamp Act wasn't just about a tax, it was about a fundamental principle of self-governance. It's fascinating to think about how this single piece of legislation enacted on this date has such a profound impact on the course of American history. It's a clear example of how even seemingly minor events can have far-reaching consequences shaping the destinies of nations and the lives of millions. Now let's jump ahead to the 19th century, a time of significant political and social change in the United States. On November 1, 1800, John Adams, the second president of the United States, became the first president to occupy the White House. At the time, it wasn't even called the White House. It was known as the President's House or the Executive Mansion. Imagine being the first president to live in that iconic building. It must have been quite an experience, especially considering it wasn't even finished yet. And speaking of new beginnings, let's move on to a development that would revolutionize our understanding of the natural world. On November 1, 1870, President Ulysses S. Grant formally established the U.S. Weather Bureau. This marked a turning point in our ability to predict and understand weather patterns moving from folklore and local observations to a more systematic and scientific approach. This event laid the foundation for modern weather forecasting, which has had a profound impact on everything from agriculture and transportation to disaster preparedness and public safety. It's amazing to think how much our understanding of weather has evolved since then, thanks to advancements in technology and scientific research. And now for a pivotal moment in Russian history. On November 1st, 1894, Nicholas II ascended to the throne, becoming Tsar of Russia. His reign, however, would be marked by social unrest, economic hardship, and ultimately revolution. This event set the stage for a period of immense change and upheaval in Russia, culminating in the fall of the Romanov dynasty and the rise of the Soviet Union. 
It's a reminder that even seemingly powerful empires can crumble under the weight of internal pressures and changing social and political landscapes. Now let's step into the tumultuous 20th century, a century marked by global conflicts, technological advancements, and profound societal shifts. On November 1, 1911, a rather ominous event occurred during the Italo-Turkish War. The first bomb was dropped from an aircraft, marking a dark turning point in the history of warfare. It's chilling to think that this event, which might have seemed like a novelty at the time, foreshadowed the devastating aerial bombardments that would come to define 20th century conflicts. It's a stark reminder of how quickly technology can be adapted for destructive purposes, often with unintended and far-reaching consequences. And yet, despite the shadows of war, the 20th century also saw moments of hope and progress. On November 1, 1938, amidst the anxieties of the Great Depression and the looming threat of another world war, the legendary racehorse Seabiscuit won a historic race against War Admiral. Seabiscuit's victory provided a much-needed boost of morale and a sense of hope for people struggling through difficult times. It was a reminder that even in the darkest of days, there's always room for resilience, triumph, and the spirit of competition. It's a testament to the enduring human capacity for hope and the power of sports to unite and inspire, even in the face of adversity. But as we move deeper into the 20th century, we enter a period marked by Cold War tensions and the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. On November 1, 1950, two Puerto Rican nationalists attempted to assassinate President Harry S. Truman at Blair House, where he was residing while the White House underwent renovations. This event, while unsuccessful, highlighted the complexities of U.S. territories and colonial legacies, as well as the simmering unrest and desire for self-determination in some of those territories. It's a reminder that even during times of global conflict, other struggles for freedom and autonomy were taking place, often overshadowed by the larger geopolitical narrative. And speaking of global conflict, just two years later, on November 1, 1952, the United States conducted its first test of a hydrogen bomb codenamed Mike, on an atoll in the Marshall Islands. This test marked a significant escalation in the Cold War arms race, pushing the world closer to the brink of nuclear war. The destructive power of this weapon was a sobering reminder of the stakes involved in the Cold War and the potential for humanity to destroy itself. It's a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the consequences of unchecked technological advancement, especially when driven by fear and mistrust. And yet, despite these anxieties, the 20th century also saw moments of unity and cooperation. On November 1, 1993, the Maastricht Treaty, a landmark agreement that formally established the European Union, came into effect. This was a major step towards European integration, leading to the creation of the euro currency open borders for many member states and greater cooperation on a wide range of political, economic, and social issues. It's a reminder that even amidst global tensions and historical divisions, there's also a human desire for connection, cooperation, and shared prosperity. It's a hopeful note to end our exploration of the 20th century on. And now let's step into the 21st century, a century that continues to grapple with many of the same challenges and opportunities that shaped the previous one. On November 1st, 2001, in the wake of the 9-11 attacks, Australia, Canada, and Turkey pledged military support to the United States in its war on terror. This outpouring of support from allies around the world underscored the global impact of the attacks and the collective determination to confront terrorism. It was a moment of unity and solidarity in the face of tragedy, but it also marked the beginning of a new era of global conflict, one that continues to shape the world today. And speaking of global challenges, let's fast forward to a more recent event that highlights our growing awareness of environmental issues. On November 1, 2018, the island nation of Palau took a bold step in environmental protection, becoming the first country in the world to ban sunscreens that contain chemicals harmful to coral reefs. This decision reflects a growing global understanding of the need to protect our oceans and the fragile ecosystems that support life on Earth. It's a reminder that even small nations can take meaningful action to address global challenges, setting an example for others to follow. And finally, let's jump to the present year, where we see the rapid advancement of technology continuing to shape our world in profound ways. On November 1, 2023, Collins Dictionary declared AI, or artificial intelligence, as its word of the year. AI is everywhere these days, from self-driving cars to virtual assistants to algorithms that influence our online experiences. Its impact on our lives is undeniable, raising questions about the future of work privacy and even the very nature of intelligence itself. 
It's fascinating to see how this technology, once relegated to science fiction, is now rapidly transforming our world, presenting both incredible opportunities and significant challenges. It makes you wonder what future generations will say about our era, about the rise of AI and its impact on humanity. It's a question that we can only speculate on for now, but it's a reminder that history is constantly unfolding and we are all active participants in its creation. This has been an incredible journey through the annals of history, all focused on a single date, November 1st. We've covered so much ground from daring explorations to devastating wars, from political upheavals to scientific breakthroughs, from moments of tragedy to glimpses of hope and progress. It's remarkable how a single date can encompass such a wide spectrum of human experience, reminding us of the complexities, contradictions, and interconnectedness of our shared history. But for now, let's take a pause and reflect on what we've learned. Stay tuned because we'll be right back with more fascinating insights and discussions about this extraordinary day in history. Welcome back to our uh, deep dive into the historical tapestry of November 1st. We've already journeyed through centuries, witnessing a fascinating interplay of exploration, innovation, conflict, and progress. It's amazing how much ground we've covered, yeah. and yet it feels like we've only just scratched the surface. I'm eager to delve deeper into the events that have shaped this date and its impact on the world we live in today. Absolutely. So let's pick up where we left off. In the early 20th century, a time of rapid technological advancements and growing global tensions. Remember that pivotal moment in 1911 when the first bomb was dropped from an aircraft? Yes, a chilling foreshadowing of the aerial warfare that would come to define much of the 20th century. It's a stark reminder of how quickly technology can be weaponized, often with devastating consequences. Precisely. And just a few decades later, we see this theme play out on a global scale with the outbreak of World War II. But before we dive into that global conflict, let's talk about a fascinating contrast of events that occurred on November 1st in the 1930s. On one hand, we have the proclamation of the Rome-Berlin Axis in 1936, solidifying the alliance between Nazi Germany and fascist Italy. This alliance, fueled by ideologies of nationalism, militarism, and expansionism, set the stage for World War II, a conflict that would engulf the world in unimaginable destruction and loss of life. It's a sobering reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the devastating consequences of totalitarian regimes. And yet, just two years later, on that same date in 1938, we see a completely different kind of event capturing the world's attention. The legendary racehorse Seabiscuit wins a historic race against War Admiral. It's incredible how these two events, one marking the rise of fascism and the impending doom of global war, and the other, a thrilling sporting event that offered a glimmer of hope, both occurred on the same date, just two years apart. It speaks to the complex and often paradoxical nature of history, where moments of darkness and light despair and hope can coexist in such close proximity. Seabiscuit's victory provided a much-needed sense of hope and inspiration during a time of economic hardship and global uncertainty. His story resonated with people struggling through the Great Depression, reminding them that even underdogs can achieve extraordinary things. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit and the power of sports to unite and uplift even in the face of adversity. But as we move into the 1950s, we enter an era defined by the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension, and the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. On November 1, 1950, two Puerto Rican nationalists attempted to assassinate President Harry S. Truman. While the attempt was unsuccessful, it highlighted the simmering unrest in some U.S. territories and the desire for self-determination. This event, often overshadowed by the larger narrative of the Cold War, reminds us that multiple historical threads can run concurrently, each with its own complexities and significance. It's a reminder that history is not just about grand narratives and global conflicts, but also about the individual struggles and aspirations of people seeking freedom and autonomy. And speaking of global tensions, just two years later, on November 1st, 1952, the United States conducted its first test of a hydrogen bomb codenamed Mike. This marked a significant escalation in the Cold War arms race, pushing the world closer to the brink of nuclear war. The destructive power of this weapon was unlike anything the world had ever seen, a sobering reminder of the stakes involved in the Cold War and the potential for humanity to destroy itself. It's a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked technological advancement, particularly when driven by fear and mistrust. And yet, despite these anxieties, the human spirit continued to strive for peace and cooperation. On November 1, 1993, the Maastricht Treaty came into effect, formally establishing the European Union. 
This landmark agreement, a testament to the enduring human desire for unity and shared prosperity, laid the groundwork for a new era of European integration marked by economic cooperation, open borders, and a shared sense of identity. It's a reminder that even amidst historical divisions and geopolitical tensions, there's also a human capacity for bridge-building reconciliation and the pursuit of common goals. It's a powerful testament to the transformative potential of diplomacy and the enduring human spirit that seeks to overcome conflict and division. Now, as we move into the 21st century, we see many of these themes continuing to play out on the global stage. On November 1st, 2001, just weeks after the devastating attacks of 9-11, Australia, Canada, and Turkey pledged military support to the United States in its war on terror. This outpouring of support from allies around the world highlighted the global impact of the attacks and a collective resolve to confront terrorism. It also marked the beginning of a new era of global conflict, one that continues to shape the world today. It's a reminder that even in an increasingly interconnected world, the specter of violence and conflict remains a potent force, and that events in one part of the world can have far-reaching consequences. Absolutely, and as we grapple with these global challenges, it's also important to acknowledge the growing awareness of environmental issues and the need to protect our planet. On November 1st, 2018, the island nation of Palau took a bold step in environmental protection, becoming the first country in the world to ban sunscreens that contain chemicals harmful to coral reefs. This decision reflects a growing global understanding of the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the need to protect the delicate balance of life on Earth. It's a reminder that even small nations can play a significant role in addressing global challenges, setting an example for others to follow. And finally, let's jump to the present year where we see the rapid advancement of technology continuing to shape our world in profound ways. On November 1st, 2023, Collins Dictionary declared AI, or artificial intelligence, as its word of the year. AI is rapidly transforming our world, from the way we work and communicate to the way we experience entertainment and access information. It's raising important questions about the future of work, privacy, ethics, and even the very nature of intelligence itself. It's fascinating to see how this technology, once the realm of science fiction, is now shaping our daily lives. It's both exciting and daunting to consider the potential impact of AI on our future. It's a reminder that history is not just something we study, it's something we're actively creating with every choice we make, every innovation we embrace, and every challenge we confront. As we wrap up the second part of our deep dive into November 1st, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible tapestry of events that have unfolded on this date. It's a reminder that history is not just a collection of facts and figures, but a living, breathing narrative that continues to shape our world today. We've journeyed through centuries witnessing the interplay of human ingenuity, ambition, conflict, and cooperation. It's been an incredible journey and we're not done yet. Stay tuned as we conclude our deep dive with some final reflections on this extraordinary day in history. Welcome back to our deep dive into the fascinating history of November 1st. We've journeyed through centuries, witnessing remarkable events that have shaped the course of human history. From daring explorations to groundbreaking scientific advancements, from political upheavals to moments of global unity and cooperation. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've seen how a single date can encompass such a wide spectrum of human experience, reflecting both our capacity for innovation and destruction, our triumphs and failures, our hopes and fears. And what struck me most is the interconnectedness of it all. How seemingly disparate events separated by time and geography can be linked in fascinating and unexpected ways. That's a great point. For example, we started our journey with Ferdinand Magellan's voyage through the Strait of Magellan in 1520. This event, a testament to human curiosity and the desire to explore the unknown, had a ripple effect that extended far beyond the realm of exploration. It opened up new trade writs, shifted global power dynamics, and ultimately paved the way for European colonialism in the Americas and beyond. It's a reminder that even seemingly isolated events can have far-reaching consequences shaping the destinies of nations and the course of history. Absolutely. And speaking of interconnectedness, think about the Stamp Act of 1765. This seemingly minor tax imposed by the British Parliament on the American colonies ignited a firestorm of protest fueled by the colonists' belief in self-governance and their resentment of taxation without representation. This event, a pivotal moment in the lead-up to the American Revolution, demonstrates how even seemingly small acts 
can have profound consequences, ultimately leading to the birth of a new nation. It highlights the power of ideas and principles to mobilize people and drive historical change. And as we move into the 20th century, we saw how technological advancements, while often driven by noble intentions, could also be harnessed for destructive purposes. The dropping of the first bomb from an aircraft in 1911 a seemingly insignificant event at the time foreshadowed the devastating aerial bombardments that would become a hallmark of 20th century warfare. It's a sobering reminder of the dual nature of technology, its potential for both good and evil, and the importance of considering the ethical implications of scientific advancements. And yet, amidst the shadows of war and conflict, we also saw glimpses of human resilience, hope, and the enduring desire for peace and unity. The victory of Seabiscuit in 1938, a story of an underdog who captured the hearts of a nation struggling through the Great Depression, provided a much needed boost of morale and a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there's always room for hope and inspiration. And the establishment of the European Union in 1993, a testament to the power of diplomacy and cooperation, offered a vision of a world where nations could work together to overcome historical divisions and build a more peaceful and prosperous future. It's a reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, human ingenuity and the desire for connection can prevail. As we entered the 21st century, we saw the world grappling with new threats from terrorism to climate change, and the rapid advancement of technology continued to reshape our lives in profound ways. The pledges of military support from allies around the world in the aftermath of 9-11 underscored the global impact of terrorism and the need for international cooperation to address this growing threat. It was a moment of unity and solidarity, but it also marked the beginning of a new era of global conflict, one that continues to shape the world today. And Palau's decision to ban harmful sunscreens in 2018, a small nation taking a stand to protect its coral reefs, reflects a growing global awareness of environmental issues and the need for collective action to safeguard the health of our planet. It's a reminder that even seemingly small actions can have a significant impact and that every individual has a role to play in addressing global challenges. And finally, the Declaration of AI as the word of the year in 2023 highlights the transformative power of technology and the profound impact it's having on our lives, raising questions about the future of work, privacy ethics, and even the very nature of intelligence. It's fascinating to see how this technology, once relegated to the realm of science fiction, is now shaping our world in ways we could have scarcely imagined. It presents both incredible opportunities and significant challenges, and it will be interesting to see how this story unfolds in the years to come. As we conclude our deep dive into the history of November 1st, I'm left with a sense of awe at the sheer scope of human experience, the interconnectedness of events, and the enduring capacity for both great good and great harm that we've witnessed on this single date. It's been an incredible journey through time, and we hope it sparked your curiosity and encouraged you to explore history further. Thanks for being with us, and we hope you'll join us on the next show as we take a closer look at another interesting day in history.